This video will demonstrate the formula syntax and usage of the forecast.linear and forecast functions in Microsoft Excel. Forecasting is a technique that uses historical data as inputs to make informed estimates that are predictive in determining the direction of future trends. Business utilizes forecasting to determine how to allocate their budgets or plan for anticipated expenses for an upcoming period of time. In Excel 2016, the forecast function was replaced with forecast.linear as part of the new forecasting functions. The syntax and usage of the two functions are the same, but the older forecast function will eventually be depreciated. It's still available for backward compatibility, but consider using the new forecast.linear function instead. The function is used to calculate or predict a future value by using existing values. Now, before we continue, let me mention that there are regression models and they describe the relationship between variables by fitting a line to observed data. Linear regression models use a straight line. Now, let's continue. The future value is Y value for a given X value. The existing values are known X values and Y values, and the future value is predicted by using linear regression. You can use these functions to predict future sales, inventory requirements, or consumer trends. The syntax is fairly simple. Forecast.linear, open parentheses, and type in three arguments, X, known Ys, and known Xs. The argument X, is the data point for which you want to predict a value. Known Ys is for dependent array or range of data. Known Xs is the independent array or range of data. If you're using the old forecast function, arguments and the, the syntax is exactly the same. Now, some remarks. If X is non-numerical, forecast or forecast.linear, will return the value error message. If known Ys or known Xs is empty, or one has more data points than the other, these functions will return an A error value. If the variance of known Xs equals zero, these functions will return div error value. And now let's go over the example. Let's type in the formula. Select the data point we want prediction for. Select known Ys. And select known Xs. And press Enter. So there you have it. This is how you do a linear forecast in Excel. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.